I'm back again because you people want to see me suffer with this horrible idea called fanfic. Let's continue, shall we? Tails blinked. How not exactly, he inquired. Amy fingered the hem of her dress. I'm smaller and not as well puffy. She finally blurted out. Tails smiled <clears throat> softly. Can I see? You did see me, right? Amy swallowed. Well, I guess, but don't tell me when I told you, okay? She demanded. Tails nodded. Okay, I promise. He reached over and flipped the lock latch on the door just to be safe. Amy blushed a little, then unzipped her dress and stepped out of it. She stood in front of Tails, paws behind her back, her naked body right in front of him. Once again, his penis jolted upwards like a spring, but extended even more. It, Amy squealed again. It, it's bigger now. Tails looked down and gasped. His penis has never grown this big. He stroked it in his paw, feeling the rock hardness of it. Remember the beginning of this? The author said as if they were still young and unknown to the joys. These, these are minors. This is weird. I don't like it. Uh, uh. Wow, he whispered to himself. Rosie, what you doing? Come on. There you go. <clears throat> he whispered to himself and looked up at Amy again. Move your legs apart a bit, he said. Amy blinked. Where are you going? People need to see cuteness. They need to eye bleach. <sighs> wow, he whispered to uh, Yeah. Tails smiled so I can see you between the legs better. Amy shrugged and spread her legs a little bit further, her feet wide apart, tails dropped to his knees in front of her, taking a close look at her area. Amy gasped. What are you doing? she asked nervous, nervously. The fox looked up at her with a faint hint of genuine love in his eyes. Amy, can I kiss your area, Rosie? Mm -hmm. Come on. There you go. The little pink hedgehog blinked and swallowed her then opened her mouth to speak, but no sound came out. She cleared her throat and gave a small, quick nod. Yes, she whispered, squeakily. Tails smiled and pressed her lips to her intimate vagina. A light, soft smooch emanating from his lips, Amy gasped and stood up on her toes, her little feet turning inwards. Tails heard no request for him to stop. So he placed another kiss on her, resulting in the same response from Amy. For a few minutes, he continued pleasuring her female area with soft kisses, then stopped. Amy looked down, a few beads of sweat on her forehead. Tails, why did you stop? She asked. Depressingly, Tails looked up. Can I use my tongue, Amy? I think this is a perfect time to stop. I'll leave you on a good cliffhanger, you stupid. Why did you let me do 